All right, time to look at this Monroe. This is my oldest tree and look how small it is. It's been taken down three times by hurricanes. I've always made sure that the soil was right. And this thing has been pulling through. I stopped using umbrellas for it after the second year. Figured this thing had to regroup. It was cooking, man. This sun was killing this thing. We got the rains right on time. I managed it just enough to let it survive, but I can't baby them. So we're gonna go and uh, we're going in. All right, what is up? I grow soil all up in it. So this is my avocado Monroe tree. And take a look. At how we're gonna jump this thing off. Damn. That is fungal, boys and girls. Uh 100 magnification. Let's jump in. I can officially turn off my microscope and say, Great job. This is um my most mature tree in my property. I put this thing in. This is the very first tree I put in. And it's been through, well, you saw the list of hurricanes, but starting with Ian. Ian was a cat five. Brought the pain, man. Brought the pain. Hurricane Debbie, cat three in 2023. I don't even know how many. There was Hurricane Helene. 2024, two weeks later, Hurricane Milton, category five. Helene was a category four. So... Needless to say, my Monroe tree is very small still. Wow. Because it has been through it. I got to turn this thing off. It uses too much space. It has been through it. But one thing I kept tight is the biology in this thing. I figured I've had it leafless. Nothing. Gone. Hurricane Ian, I didn't know. I didn't think it was going to survive. It had only been in the ground for like maybe two months i didn't know anything but i was learning my biology nematode there uh, i'm just kind of overwhelmed by how fungal i mean it doesn't surprise me man i put in the work but that's a beautiful thing to see all this fungi all this is like everything you're looking here and this is why last season i'll tell you what last season this man, I can get some light over here. This little tree tried to give me, I think I lost count at like 40 avocados. It's an avocado tree, by the way. And these Monroe avocados are huge. I counted 40 on that tree. And I had no idea what was going to happen. And obviously it dropped everything. I should have pulled them, but either way. Um, this is some seriously fungal stuff. Look at that. It looks like a spore jumping off here. Let me let me see if I can tune into this. Where did it go? I lost it. There. Maybe. No. I'm looking at that right there, but I don't think that's a spore. I take it back. All right. I want to be quick about this. I mean, I've, I can. You're seeing ciliates zipping by. We've had a lot of rain. But I'm cool with ciliates. I mean, I don't know if you guys are looking at this, but hyphae. All of this is fungal hyphae. It's everywhere. This is why I'm proud of this little tree. Um, I had to get a little tough with it this year because this is the first year I didn't give it an umbrella. I babied it because it's been through so many storms. And I had to protect it from the sun because the sun is brutal. And I've been told, you know, smaller trees, you want to protect them. I finally, this season, we had a pretty dry season and it was looking rough. It was toasting up on me. And I started, uh, I started treating it a little, um, little tougher, you know, so it's either going to make it or not. I can't baby this tree and it's pulling through we, right on time. Rain season's here. But, man, look at that. What can I say? Regenerative agriculture flat out works. 
look at this chunk of biochar. Let's light that up real quick. Whoop, whoop. Look at all that. Damn. Yep. And I'll tell you what, this tree doesn't get much biology. Now, this this tree is officially reached a regenerative status. The soil looks like this. I look I checked it a year ago. But man, look at this. Sorry, I'm I'm just absolutely excited. Look at all this aggregation here. This is a beautiful shot of aggregate. This is an image here we're looking at is bacteria clumping itself and gluing it all together along with anything and everything around it. Very porous. You're getting all water, you get air, oxygen. It can travel through all of this. And this makes your soil fluffy. I keep saying that. And I'll always say it. But the dark black stuff is biochar. The dark brown stuff is humic acid. The light brown stuff is fulvic acid. Nematodes. Fungal, fungal, fungal. Look at this cluster. Wow. I love seeing this jump. I love watching fungi jump because I know what it's doing, right? It's like here, and then it's connecting to all of this, pulling nutrients from all of that, connecting to all of this, pulling nutrients from all of that. So when you take a, a compost that has all the necessary inputs, this is how you're going to light up your soil. And this is, by the way, in Florida. This is, you know, this I turned sand into soil here. It's completely doable as a rotifer, by the way. Kind of doing his thing. They live back there in my yard. Got tons of them. And they love the rains. They love the rainy season. Look at this guy. This is a naked amoeba. Getting to work. Anyway, I'm going to spend a little time on this sample. If I see anything cool, I'll dive back in with it. There's a lot to look at here. So here it is. Regenerative, man. This avocado tree. This is why it was trying to give me 40 avocados last season. I let them all fall off. I had no choice. The tree was only two feet tall. Again, maybe four or five hurricanes. Put carbon deep when I dug the hole. That's what I do. I'll make a video on that. I go two and a half, three feet deep, and I add charcoal down there, and I let these trees work their way down. Some people argue that you make the trees lazy. Some other people argue that, you know, the tree is uh, not going to be as strong. Everything in nature goes path of least resistance, and I don't know, four or five hurricanes later, I'm good. I'll, I'll stick to my technique. So look at this patch of organic matter and microbes and... Wow, dude, what is this? Let me back it up to 40. Ah, let's do this. Let's see what goes. Damn. Look at that. I can't tell you what, what that is. That's something that's been broken down, some type of plant matter that looks like plant cells definitely have hyphae going across it. These stuff glowing or nutrients, minerals. Look at this. Wow, I got to go back to regular lighting on that. Look at that scramble of fungi. I'm sorry. I dig that. That's the pinnacle of soil right there, right? This is what we all strive for this is 
When you see this, you know your soil and your tree is healthy. It's disease resistant. I have no issues with this tree other than the sun baking it because it's still small and hurricanes just taxing it. But we're built for that here. Look at that. Gorgeous. Grow your soil, guys. I'm telling you, it pays off. I'm out.